Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Nicole. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for clicking on this video. Do consider subscribing if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Hope you are having a fantastic weekend. So this is another video that I had to re-record the intro and outro for because of a little fiasco we had uh, yesterday around here. So today's video is for the bum, 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 bum newest collection from Orly. So I did purchase this collection through the Orly Color Pass. Summer collections are literally my favorite releases by mainstream brands because I love neons. Like, I love them. So I was very, very excited uh, to get this one. If you are new to the brand, Orly is a US-based mainstream nail polish company. Their polishes are in 18 ML size bottles, which I think is like the biggest ML size that I know of for a mainstream brand. Their polishes are 12 free, cruelty free, and vegan friendly. And they also have a fantastic brush. So for summer 2021, Orly is giving us the pop collection. So I have six polishes to share with you all. These are all available right now, places where Orly is sold. I will have links down in the description box for all the places that I know of where Orly is sold. Also, if you wanna pick these up and support the channel, you can pick them up from beyondpolish.com. I have an affiliate code with that company, which is Nicole Loves Nails, which will save you 10% on individual polishes. No pressure or anything, like no pressure to use it. As always, I'll also have links uh, to the Orly social media pages, my social media pages, and of course my blog posts where I host all of my swatch photos. I believe, yeah, I am going to be doing comparisons over there because a couple of these are reminding me a lot of the Lisa Frank polishes from last year. Now let's get into this video. Hey, editing Nicole, I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that for this video, the live swatch coloring is going to be the most color accurate for pretty much everything unless I say otherwise in the video. Um, I did all of these when I was still trying to figure out the white balance on my new camera and things came out way too light in color. Um, I apologize. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into the video and again, really, really sorry about that. First up, we have Connect the Dots. Orly describes this one as a coral pink creme polish. Connect the Dots had a fantastic formula. I found it applied a buttery smooth and self-leveled perfectly. It was also surprisingly opaque. So in my opinion, I would say this one was like a true coral polish. It didn't lean red or orange or pink. Like it was like just coral. I will say just opening the box, I would say this is the one that stood out to me the most. I love a coral creme polish this time of year uh, on my toes, as I, I love to say during Orly videos, I love this color on my toes during the summer months. So as I mentioned, this one was surprisingly opaque. I wore the, I swatched this one in two coats. I think it's gonna be a solid two coater on pretty much everyone. It does dry down fairly glossy on its own, but my swatches do include top coat. Next up, we have Claim to Fame. Orly describes this one as a golden yellow creme polish. Claim to Fame had a pretty good formula. I fully expected this one to be like ridiculously streaky and just like a pain in the butt just to apply just because it's like a yellow creme polish, but I did not have any issues with it. It was a slightly on the thicker side of normal. It self-leveled really nicely. Um, in person, this one really reminded me of Hollow Taco's Butterscotch Hop from their fall collection, I think it was. This is slightly brighter and more summery kind of looking in person. I swatched this one in three coats. I think it will likely be a solid three coater, maybe with like, if you're not overly picky on light spots, it's gonna, it'll be passable in two coats, but I think it'll likely be a solid three coater. Like the previous polish, it does dry down fairly glossy, but my swatches do include top coat. Next up we have Rinse and Repeat. Orly describes this one as a sky blue creme polish. Rinse and Repeat had a pretty good formula. It was a lot thinner than the previous polishes that I swatched here. Uh, so it did have a tendency to run down the stem of the brush quite a bit. Other than that, no real application issues and it self leveled really nicely. So this one immediately made me think of the blue polish that was in last year's Lisa Frank collection. So while I was swatching this, I thought the name was a little ironic because I really thought this was the exact same color from the Lisa Frank collection. 
Um, in the bottle, side by side, there is, uh, I feel like the Lisa Frank is just a tiny bit brighter than this one. But again, comparisons up on my blog post. It's a pretty blue. I think it'll be a two to three coater depending on personal preference. I think I did three coats for my swatch photos, but I didn't write it down so I can't remember. Sorry. Next up, we have Don't Pop My Balloon. Orly describes this one as a bubblegum pink shimmer polish. So Don't Pop My Balloon had a really nice formula. I found that the shimmer in here does so, so, show some brush strokes. I was also seeing a very slight kind of color shift to this one. I was seeing like a pink gold green kind of color shift in person. It wasn't strong, but I could see something going on there. It was really hard to try to get photographed, to be perfectly honest. So this one's going to be a two to three coater, depending on your own personal preference. I use two coats for the live swatch as well as for my swatch photos. Um, however, I think I, I feel like I had a little bit of visible nail line. It wasn't the most obvious, but normally I would try to cover that up in a video, but when I was doing this, I, I didn't feel like doing it, so I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, two to three quarters, depending on personal preference. Most of the brush strokes do disappear, but if you look for them, you will see them. Next up, we have Crash the Party. Orly just describes this one as a purple creme polish. Crash the Party had a good formula. It was a little bit on the more thin side, not quite as thin as Rinse and Repeat, the blue polish, but thinner than the other ones. I did not have any issues with this one running down the stem of the brush though. So I would say that this one is a warm toned medium purple if we wanted to get like particular on there, but it's a very vibrant, bright, pretty purple polish. So I really like the color of this, but I kind of feel like I've worn this before. Like it was giving me a lot of the Lisa Frank polishes from last year again. But again, I really like the color. I swatched this one in two coats. I think it's probably going to be a two coater on pretty much everyone. I kind of feel like if I can get away with two coats, pretty much everyone can get away with two coats. Next up, we have Just an Illusion. Orly describes this one as a gold holographic glitter topper. So Justin Illusion had a really great formula. The base has a lot of glitter in it, but it does not feel thick. The glitter is also like super, super, super tiny. Um, so you won't need to use like a glitter smoothing top coat with this one. So personally, I kind of like the way this one looked in three coats on its own. It was kind of meh for me as a topper, to be honest. It's pretty, it's sparkly, it's holographic. I don't think all of the glitter in here is holographic. It seems to be some type of glitter mix of like holographic gold and maybe a little bit of silver in there as well. Honestly, I kind of feel like this is a little dense to be a topper. Like you can't put it over nail art because it will probably obscure like fine lines or anything. And I kind of am annoyed that when I swatched this, I didn't know it was a topper because the color pass doesn't like tell you what's a topper or not. So yeah, I was a little annoyed about that. But again, I like it in three coats. I did have obvious visible nail line, but it was sparkly, it was glitter, it was hollow. So, you know, I was very happy with it. I'll say removal is going to be very messy with this one if you try to scrub it off. And here is a little Skittle Manny of all of the polishes in the release, minus the topper that, that's coming up next. I really, really, really like the color story altogether like this. Like it's vaguely rainbow-y, so I'm happy with it color-wise. And here are all of the polishes with the topper plus some <laughs> gold midi rings that I found on Amazon because that's what I wanted to do, so that's what I did. So exclusive to the color pass comes this little topper called Don't Be Square. It is a triangle glitter topper in a clear base. Um, I don't know if this will be available for the general public or if it's just going to be for the box. The paperwork said it was just for the box, so I don't know. It had a good formula. It did not feel thick at all. You didn't need to hold the bottle upside down or anything like that, but like trying to brush the glitters on is going to make it look, you know, messy like what you're seeing here. <laughs> However, if you use like glitter placement or use this for nail art, this would be a, that would be a much better application for this one. Um, I feel like I want to give it an A for the idea of the polish and like an F for actual applying it normally. Like this is, you, you need to use that for nail art or else you're just going to have like 
bleh, on the nail. Okay, so I lied. I decided to do comparisons in this video after all. On my middle nail is rinse and repeat, and on the other two nails, we have sky is the limit from the Lisa Frank collection. Next up for comparisons, on my middle nail, we have crash the party, and then on my pointer finger, we have make a splash from the Lisa Frank collection, and then on my ring finger, we have synthetic symphony. Next up we have on my middle nail is claim to fame. On my pointer finger we have hollow tacos butterscotch hop and then on my ring finger we have here comes the sun. They're all really close but not exact dupes. All right so final thoughts. Um, I went into this collection extremely excited. Um, I tried not to see any spoilers online but I, I did get spoiled preemptively. Um, but overall, I like the color story, but the individual polishes themselves weren't, like, making me, like, jump for joy. Um, as far as favorites, what's gonna be my favorite? I don't even... Let me look at these again so I can decide what my favorite is. I think I'm gonna go with Connect the Dots for favorites. I feel like my main complaint about this release is that I really wish that these were, like, true neons. Like, I know I personally own quite a few neons by Orly. But I'm kind of of the opinion you can't have too many neons, so yeah. But like the color story all together, I do think it's really beautiful. I like that they included a glitter topper because I feel like the color pest doesn't often come with, with uh, toppers too often unless it's like the um, winter collection. So I do like that. The topper itself, it didn't, again, it didn't wow me. I liked it on the nail. Don't get me wrong. I liked it on the nail, but it was just kind of like... It's a glitter topper. I've seen this before. So it's, it kind of had that feel to it, but also I can't deny that glitter, especially holographic glitter, is gorgeous. So like, I'm not mad at it. But yeah, overall, I do wish there were more neons, but altogether, I like the colors. Like, I like them enough that I did like a Skittle Manny featuring them and wore that for a little bit. So I liked them enough for that. So as far as color pass goes, I talk about whether or not I'm happy with the service in all of my videos. If you missed uh, any of them, I'll have my Orly playlist linked down below. Overall, I'm still happy that I did the Orly color pass. I think my subscription, I think this box or the fall box is going to be my final box. And I, I think I am going to keep the subscription going. But I think I'm mainly doing it at this point now to have like things to review and not that like I feel like I want more creme polishes. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> So I think I am going to keep it going for the sake of content, plus because like I like the Orly polishes, even like if I'm like not wowed by some of them, like I overall I do like Orly as a brand, so I'm just going to keep it going. I, anyway, that was that was enough blabbing on. Um, I would love to know what everyone else thought of this release. Have you picked it up? Will you pick it up? Again, I'll have links down in the description box where you can purchase these. If you pick them up from Beyond Polish, you can save 10% with my coupon code, Nicole Loves Nails. Using that code does give me back like a little kickback and all that money goes back into the channel. So I would greatly appreciate it because it helps me be able to afford <laughs> to buy these kind of things to do reviews for you all. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!